That shit is crazy disgusting. Fucking crazy disgusting. Where's Channel 2? Where's Fox 26? I need a reporter to come out here and see this sewage in real time. Project Daddy reporting live from the food desert. I bet you didn't know there was a swamp in the food desert, did you? I came to get something to eat and I get a nasty ass treat. A damn pond of shit. Raw sewage. We can't tolerate this bullshit, man. It's time for the American person to fight back. The greatest American alive, man. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Be a hero. Save your community. Tell the truth and get some motherfucking power. You come to the food desert and you see a swamp of shit before you get something to eat. And then I got to walk by three churches and pray to God <laughs> that I don't get tetanus. <laughs> that, I don't, that I don't get malaria. <laughs> I don't get yellow fever. This is some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Third world bullshit in Houston, Texas. Raw fucking sewage. It's a common thing when you're in a poor community. You see a whole bunch of churches, man. There's three churches right here. There's like three or four convenience stores and a half of a grocery store. You're going to feed my soul, but you ain't going to feed my body. It's a crazy thing. It's like a for real food desert. And I look at my community, and I'm like, what are we investing in? I mean, I love Jesus as much as the next person loves Jesus. But does Jesus need three churches when I can't eat? Mental illness is like a buzzword in America right now. That's all they want to talk about is mental illness, mental illness. Me walking from my front door to the corner store is a depressing adventure. I see church, 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 trash. Then I get to the grocery store and I see sewage. And I go into the grocery store and it looks like the food is overpriced by two or three dollars per item. I'm like, how in the hell are you supposed to survive in a concrete jungle? But you can't call it a concrete jungle because the parallels to animals. But they're treating us like animals. Go to church, but you can't eat. That's wild. That's the craziest concept in, my, in the whole entire world. There ain't no Kroger's over here. There ain't no Kroger's for a six mile radius. There ain't no Walmart for a six mile radius. There ain't no H-E-B for a six mile radius. Huh? The only thing they have is an overpriced Fiesta. And in there, they got damn bars. It's like you going to prison to go buy commissary. Go to church, but you can't eat. Gunshots at nighttime and I can't sleep. And you talk about mental illness? Holy Christ, man. How we invest in our community matters. When I just look at this area right here, church, 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 car wash, half of a grocery store, corner store, corner store, corner store. For people who build backwards in America, a hey, LeBron James ain't got nothing to do with Houston, Texas. But sometimes he comes over to play basketball. This man invested in a school. How in the hell do you build a community upside down? Why would you have a school before you had a factory to have jobs for the parents or the kids that go to the school? We're building upside down. We pat ourselves in the back. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. You got a business. You an entrepreneur. Nigga, you screwing yourself and fucking your community over. <laughs> What's sound infrastructure? Hey, where's the bank? How do, how do I get loans so I can buy this property that's for sale right now? Where's my lenders at? Ain't now in sight. Six mile radius. I can't find a bank. And who's going to lend to me if they did? The greatest American alive. This wouldn't be tolerated nowhere else. But won't nobody, where are the journalists that are coming over here to dead end? They call this dead end. The place where I reside is called dead end. Talk about depressing. Talk about mental health. I live in fucking dead end. What does that say about my future? What does that say about the trajectory of my life? Motherfucking dead end Houston, Texas. Shit. This video has the power to change this thing for an entire community of people who got who to gotta deal with this. Who got to see this eyesore. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American.